Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, baby. So today we're going to be talking about Bingo. We'll also be talking about Illumina's blocked acquisition yet again, a liquid biopsies, a reply I got back from Rockefeller University, the Vertebrates Genome Laboratory Project. There are so many species to discover, so much money to be made. Also, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. We managed to get into AACR. We're just saving up now. Whoever can donate in the PayPal link. I really appreciate you guys. We're trying to get into ACMG. So I will be live streaming both of these events for us. Also, one of the most interesting parts of this video is going to be about our service providers, one of our service providers has now inked more and more deals. Juicy! So this certified provider uses the Sapphire for research in the agrigenomic space. And if you're new around here, welcome to the channel. My name is Miguel and we look for the biggest, juiciest growth stocks. Today we're going to be talking about BNGO and I hope you find this video super valuable and entertaining. Always remember, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment only. And if you're able to support my channel, just you clicking the join button, joining on any level tier really helps me out. Thank you to everybody that loves and supports this channel. But if you're unable to join this channel, just you hitting the like button and clicking subscribe is enough for me. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and let's get into this video. So first things first, let's talk about Illumina. Just like an ex-girlfriend, they have a history of getting blocked. Who remembers when the pack bio deal got blocked? Now the latest drama involves Illumina trying to get into the liquid biopsy market with this company called Grail and the Federal Trade Commission is once again trying to block Illumina from making this huge acquisition. This acquisition is worth $7.1 billion. So your question is, why did they block Illumina? Well, according to the filing, this acquisition was basically blocked due to the fear that Illumina would monopolize the market. And this would be for the MCEDs, which is multi-cancer early detection. So they're worried that this would substantially lessen competition and it would diminish innovation as well as potentially increase prices and reducing the choice and quality of multi-cancer early detection tests. In other words, it is likely to harm US consumers. But check this out. It turns out that Illumina and Grail are synergistic. And we can see here that Grail's gallery test, along with its rival's MCED tests, in development must and do rely on Illumina's NGS platforms. Another thing that we'd like to note as well, and this is actually crazy that it's been blocked considering Illumina initially formed Grail in 2015 with the purpose of enabling the early detection of cancer in asymptomatic individuals through a blood screen, the holy grail of early cancer detection. So Illumina initially formed Grail before reducing its ownership as we can see here Two years after forming Grail, Illumina reduced its ownership interest to below 20% of the voting rights in the company. So liquid biopsy companies are set to become hot commodity as analysts around the world, including Simon from ARK Invest, believe that the industry is worth over $100 billion. We estimate that in the US alone, those markets served by liquid biopsy could be worth as much as $100 billion by the end of 2025. And it's not just Simon Says, Simon Says, because if we take a look over at Cowan, we'll see what they're predicting for the industry. Liquid biopsy, early detection of a huge investment opportunity. The insights are by these analysts, including Doug Shekinel. And we can see here that they think that the opportunity across the United States is about at least 30 billion and as high as $130 billion. This is for liquid biopsies. Just in the United States alone, can you imagine? We also saw this recent acquisition at the beginning of March, on March the 2nd, 2021. It was Agilent acquired resolution bioscience and they basically wanted to bring together resolution biosciences non-invasive liquid biopsy platform because it improves cancer diagnostics these guys paid up to 550 million dollars in cash so back to bio nanogenomics i said as soon as we start cash flowing we should look into going into other markets which is exactly what our competitors are doing and with regards to the rumors and speculation surrounding an acquisition from the guys over at illumina they've been blocked from making multiple acquisitions now it looks like they don't want them to get a stronghold and like a monopoly over the industry of genomics. So with Bingo, I don't think we're going to be acquired by Illumina. However, I do believe, and this is best case scenario in terms of Cytopia, I think we could possibly get a partnership with Illumina. And for every contract that they have for short read sequencing, they can use us to map up the structural variations that they can't detect. Now, Illumina was one of the first authorized for C19 testing back in June 2020. Now, we are being used to support the largest C19 study to date on C19 disease susceptibility. So as you can see again here, take a look at this, the participants will have their genomes analyzed using next generation sequencing and bio nano genome imaging. 
packaging, showing that we can be used alongside NGS once again. We would be such a synergistic partnership for Illumina. So exactly how big is this study? It's going to be involving 1,000 patients and controls, consisting of C19 patients and their partners and first degree relatives as controls. Cha-ching! Oh, just imagine all the consumable usages. Next guys, remember this video I made about mapping out species. If you haven't seen it yet, look at the link just above my head. I'll leave it up here. You can click on it and watch it through. I basically said sapphire was used on manta rays, but there's millions of other species waiting. This is huge. So after I did this video and posted it up in the Reddit group, I was receiving all kinds of hate. Look, they were saying I'm just using BNGO for views. They were saying that I have the lowest quality video in terms of value. Just ban this guy because he's chatting rubbish. People saying that they love bingo, but my video is nonsense. Well, we just got a reply from Rockefeller University, the Vertebrate Genome Lab. And it turns out I am right. Vertebrate Genome Lab, thanks for the feature, Mr. Investalot. We are delighted to see your enthusiasm for our genomes. You are totally right. There are so many species out there to cover. The possibilities are endless. Then they said, here's more on the VGP if you're interested. And then I decided to explore this. So we just began on manta rays. They were showing optical genome mapping using the sapphire for manta rays. Now there's 70,000 extant vertebrate species. However, when you click into this, you get this. The list is actually 71,657 and these are the species just known to them in their database. Huge baby, there's so much to explore, so much to do. And if people think this is a nonsense video, they just don't understand, man. Haters gonna hate because they don't know the true potential of sapphire. Millions of other species. So I was also looking to some old studies. I wanted to know about, you know, agriculture, I want to know about plant, animal genomes. And there's a study here from 2018 stating that they were looking at the assembly of the sorghum genome using nanopore sequencing and optical mapping. So we can see it was used here Oxford Nanopore alongside BioNanogenomics. And I didn't even know what sorghum uh, genome was, so I had to look into it and see what they meant. So sorghum is a plant, um, it's a genus of actually 25 species of flowering plants, and some of the species have been used as cereals for human consumption, and some in pastures for animals. So you can see here it's been used in agrigenomics. They've actually also been using this back in 2015 to map out insect genomes, as we can see here, bionanogenomics. And then I wanted to check up on our certified service providers, and this is where I saw some big juicy news. One of our big boy providers, Tiva AgriScience. It focuses on agricultural genomics and they recently got a new partnership between Cortiva AgriScience and Inauka. So together what they're focusing on is improving the sustainability of the beef cattle supply chain. So these guys are collaborating on an innovative project that aims to improve the efficiency of production indicators and reduce the environmental impact of the beef cattle chain. So if you guys haven't seen my Cortiva video just look above here in the cards I'll leave it just above my head. But basically Cortiva AgriScience is constantly innovating. They are constantly innovating to try and bring out the best products. You know, from sweet corn, we can see they were one of the first here, pioneer, to start a genomics effort in corn. Number one in soybeans too. They even had a deal with PepsiCo, as you can see, June 24th, 2020. And this was to do the first ever open source sequencing of an oat genome. So they wanted better sustainability, better nutrition, and better taste. They wanted more varieties for oats. They are a massive, massive company that loves to research and they have partnerships with some of the biggest companies in the world. Cortiva has also been approved in the UK. So they've got this innovative product. But they've just come out with a fungicide, as you can see here. It's a long awaited wheat fungicide approved for this season in the UK. It's going to help tackle disease resistance, building up against pesticides. It's also been approved in France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Ireland, and Greece. So this is our service provider. They're constantly researching, they're constantly optical mapping different types of plants and animals. And the deals just keep coming in. They also signed a deal with a Spanish giant called. Dalidelos Agri Solutions, and basically this is for joint development and validation as well as global marketing of biostimulants for more sustainable agriculture. This Spanish company uh, focuses on specializing in production of solutions for nutrition and metabolism. So the management team over at Cortiva AgriScience has actually launched loads of innovative products in, you know, corn, soybeans, insecticides, and they've delivered greater than $400 million in earnings improvement from new crop protection products. How do you think they get those? They got to research. And they will continue spending money on research, development, innovation to make sure that their products win big. Some of their innovations have affected Tanzania and Ethiopia by creating their hybrid maize seeds, resulting in 300% increases in productivity and doubling of incomes. So yeah, this is a good company to have as a service provider. Why these guys get so many deals is they're constantly innovating and researching to bring the best products to market. They also just recently announced a new global brand, basically 
actually trying to build the best in-class sustainable solutions for farmers. So they're providing farmers worldwide with effective insect control options for more than 250 crops, including fruits, vegetables, soybeans, corn, rice, and others. So what does it mean to be our service provider? One of the good things about it is they get sales referrals. So they get preferential referrals when customers seek a bio nano service provider. And what's crazy is these guys actually have a big juicy market share. They're one of the world leaders in, you know, agricultural genomics for plants and animals. So the Sapphire machine can be used to optically map, you know, any living thing. And as we can see here, all living things have a unique genome. So they need to be mapped out and sequenced. So with bio nano genomics, we need to look at the bigger picture. Literally, there's so many things that can be optically mapped. We are an essential part of the genomic toolkit, according to ARK Invest. And can you imagine, we can be used alongside any of these companies, you know, PacBio, we can be used alongside, we can be used alongside Illumina. There were some studies where we were being used alongside also Oxford Nanopore. So for me, I believe that bio nano genomics is uniquely positioned in the market where we can have deals with each and every one of these companies, as well as in the future, perhaps take some of their market share when we develop our own sequencer. So bio nano genomics, the patent is there. We're just waiting on them to reveal when it's ready. And you can see here, constricted nano channel devices suitable for use in analysis of macro molecular structure, including DNA sequencing. So a lot of people get frustrated. They're in and out of the stock literally in the last few weeks. They expect to be, you know, next day millionaires. But for me, I'm going to be staying in this company for at least five years. I'm thinking five to eight years time. This is not financial advice, but my price prediction in five years time is $100. And that is as a minimum. So I can't tell you any short term price targets and predictions. I can't give you that because I just don't know what the market is saying. But I will say I'm going to be very, very excited and I'm eagerly awaiting the next few quarters results because we have all of these juicy events and I want to see what the financials are looking like, how many sales, how many people we've managed to sway because we've set targets. We blew out the park with our last revenue. Let's see what the next revenues are saying. As always, I want to thank everybody for your love and support. If you're able to support me, please click the join button up here. It's only 99 cents. You can join any tier and it really helps me to create good quality videos. But if you're unable to do channel memberships, just you clicking like and hitting subscribe on this video means the world to me. Thank you so much for being part of this channel. We also have a discord group where we talk about stocks. If you're able to support me on Patreon, I really appreciate and I'll let you join the Discord group as well. You can literally join any level and you can jump into the Discord group. Lastly, anybody that wants to donate to the next event as well, um, the PayPal link is in my description box below and I really appreciate any donations. You can get two free stocks valued up to $1,850, but you have to deposit at least $100 into that account to get the higher level stock. So when you fund the account with $100 or more, you get another free stock and these are the higher level stocks. You could get something between $8 all the way up to $1,600. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I'm over and out, baby. Mr. That's the lot. Over and out, baby.